Hey YouTube, Dave Wall here with Wall Digital Media. And like I say, if I'm not building Legos, or talking about music, movies, or pop culture, I'm the Tech and Media Director at Northway Church in Macon, Georgia. And today I'd kind of like to give you a run through on how we do tech for our services. So on any given Sunday morning, it really takes about seven people to make our tech run smoothly for our Sunday services. We have a director, a pro presenter operator, and that's for our lyrics and videos during the service, three camera people, a left, right, and center, and a lighting operator. Our seventh person acts as a producer and really troubleshoots during the service. Now, while we do have a tech booth located in the main worship center, and that's really where we ran the services for as long as I've been here, we now operate things remotely from the tech office. Our first station is for the pro presenter operator. Now they run our videos and lyrics for Sunday morning services. On a secondary monitor, they can also make adjustments to the switcher if needed, and they can also take control of the pastor's television in case he has issues with his clicker. The pro presenter station also has a view of the main camera showing the entire worship center and also the multi view from the video switcher. Our director sits in the middle of the room at a station with a laptop that can fully see the entire multi-view on the large TV mounted on the wall. From here they call the camera shots and make adjustments as needed to the audio, the recording, and the live stream. This can also be done on an iPad in case there's an issue with the laptop and any of the main computers in the tech office can take control of the switcher if needed. Another station is our lighting station, and lights can be adjusted individually or on pre-programmed playlists. We use Jan's Vista lighting software. The lighting operator can also take control of the video switcher if needed during the service. We have six camera views on Sunday mornings. Uh, the three camera operators have the left, right, and center, and then we have three cameras on the stage. We have a Blackmagic Micro Studio HD camera, which gives us shots of the guitar players. Now, I love these little cameras, and I think Blackmagic has now discontinued them, which is a shame because these are great uh, because of their size that you could place them. Um, you could hide them in many locations around the stage where they couldn't be seen to use as static shots. We also have two Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4Ks. One is on a slider in front of the drum kit. This is a new shot that we just started using. Gives you kind of a dynamic moving shot of the drum kit during the service. And then the other Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K is on the keyboard player, mainly on the hands. Uh, we also plan on adding a slider to this shot just to give you a little bit more movement during the service. We have three video screens, our left and right screens show the video shots from the switcher with lyrics as lower thirds on the bottom of the screen. This is also the feed that goes out to our live stream. The center screen is for displaying lyrics full screen with a motion background and also for using passages of scripture during the service and for showing video. We have two stage displays, one at the stage itself and another at the back next to the main tech booth that can be seen from anyone on the stage. This is great to keep everyone on track during the service. It can show current slide, next slide, and also timers. For our three man cameras, we have recently purchased the new Blackmagic 4K Studio Plus cameras. For these, I also added the new Blackmagic Focus and Zoom demands that are mounted on two arms of the tripod. These are true studio cameras and give our camera operators very smooth control. When I initially mounted these uh, controls to the arms, it made the camera very back heavy, so the camera operator was constantly having to keep their arms on the controls to keep the camera balanced. So I ordered these longer mounting plates and moved the camera forward. That adjusted the, uh, the center of gravity and now the camera stays completely balanced even if you take your hands off the controls. So that's how we do our tech now on Sunday mornings. Now I've been here since 2005, since the days of 480p 
SD mini DV cameras um, and a center screen that was 4.3, you know, the square instead of widescreen. So we've come a long way over the years and uh, we'll continue to move forward as technology progresses. We haven't gone, gone 4K yet with our screens and projectors, but our cameras are capable, our switchers capable, so we are in a, in a great position to do that once we, we uh, feel the time is right.